I know, I know, I know. It's difficult to believe that something like this, it's running from a cloud server on my OLED with the ultra setting graphics. People say, but how could you know that this is the ultra settings graphics? Because I have the same results on the same exact television on my PC when I connected my PC. But people are going to say, but Mr. 4K, how can you be sure that this is a native 4K HDR? Well, I don't know. And I never said it's a native 4K. But, I can tell you that I don't see any difference between this that's running from Google Stadia and then my native 4K uh, PC version that I have. And believe me, guys, I've been doing this for, for six years. I know the difference between a native 4K and 1440p and, 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 and 1600p and 1700p. I know the difference. I know I've seen it many many times before I've been doing this for a long time okay so is it possible that Mr. 4K is BSing us is this really a 4K uh, HDR version of uh, Google Stadia yes yes my friend yes it is and look at the detail here look at this this is crazy find me a service uh, that it's running right now uh, go check out GeForce now with the same exact game. Go check out PlayStation now and, and see if you can have something like this with this kind of clarity and this type of detail. No, please. I mean, I would love for you to, to show me that if possible. So... I know, guys, believe me, it's, it's, a, it's a tough pill to swallow, but technology, it's here, it works, all right? And what you're seeing, it's exactly what I'm seeing. I'm not pulling any tricks here, okay? I'm not pulling any tricks, there it is. I'm not playing it for my PlayStation, I'm playing it for my Google Stadia, which is right over here, okay? Well, there you go. 4K HDR, the best visual quality from a pro subscription. Here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, I would really love to see what Digital Foundry has to say about this. I'm pretty sure they're going to find something to complain about. I'm pretty sure they're going to say, oh, you know... Uh, uh, textures are too soft, you know, everything's soft. Um, and then you wonder why I don't watch Digital Foundry anymore, because <clears throat> I really felt that... I want to say a couple of things here, because people are, are confused. Uh, why am I defending Google Stadia? Guys, I'm not defending just Google Stadia. I'm defending the fact that this technology works. Okay? Granted, Google Stadia doesn't have that many games right now, doesn't have that many choices right now, but it just started. Okay? This service just started like three weeks ago. All right, let's not forget that as well. The reason I'm defending this is because I love the new technology. I love the fact that there's something like this that's available where you can just kick back, relax on your, on your bed and start playing right away. And I'm fascinated by that. I'm fascinated by having that choice. That I can have these ultra setting graphics here from a cloud server somewhere on a data center to look this great so I mean just look at it for yourself you can look at this for yourself and 
make your own judgment. I mean, look at the textures here. Look at this. This is not a medium textures. This is not medium. This is ultra. Ultra textures. When you have 10.2 teraflops, you shouldn't have a problem running the uh, sharp textures. Okay? And this is HDR. Yes, there's HDR here. Okay? And there it is right there, the HDR calibration. HDR intensity, meaning the, uh, the peak brightness, nits, and of course your HDR paper white, your white digital levels. Well, there, there you have it. There's your HDR calibration right here. So now you know that it's HDR. Now you know that it's 4K. Now you know that it can support HDR, that it can support the 4K. So Phil Harrison didn't lie to you when he said that Google Stadia supports 4K and HDR. Through cloud gaming, he was telling you the truth. Also keep in mind, I have played this game on a PC righteously. And I know how this game looks on the PC. This is a PC version that it's running on an AMD GPU with 10.2 teraflops. Same GPU that I have, 5700 XT. Okay, and uh, so... But remember, Google Stadia can always upgrade. They can upgrade their um, machine. They can always have their machine running at a more powerful GPU and CPU and a memory RAM. All of that stuff is going to be possible. And this is also something that I talked about in my previous video where developers will be able to jump on board due to the fact that they have unlimited, unlimited power. Whatever they need, the Google Stadia will be able to, to present to them. Let's say, uh, for example, okay, let's say uh, CD Projekt Red wants to work on a exclusive Google Stadia game. Well, guess what? The developers from CD Projekt Red, now they have unlimited uh, power. Meaning, whatever GPUs they need, whatever CPUs they need, whatever memory RAM they need, they will get it to make that specific exclusive game run the way they want it to run. And I think we all should be excited about that. All right. Well, look, I mean, there it is. I mean, this is... I mean, I think even on this video, you can tell just how sharp this looks and how good this looks, okay, on my OLED. That I'm streaming this from a, <laughs> from a cloud server. I think it's crazy. I think it's bananas. Even I, sometimes, I'm having a difficult time like believing this like is this even real like am, am i are, how is this even possible well it's possible and it is what it is guys it's possible and it's here and uh, i'm gonna leave it on that note here let me bring a little bit closer i'll bring a little bit closer uh, let me bring it a little bit closer. There you go. Alright, well there you have it guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.